happiness grows, the more you can share it. And Fatima Kathrada publishes a blog to share things that inspire her and make her happy. She finds the seas of joy all around her. And we met up with Fatima to explore her vision. Fatima Kathrada describes herself as a multidisciplinary creative specializing in hand lettering, illustration and design. And she also enjoys the caffeine kick of a morning cappuccino. While being completely comfortable with digital techniques, Fatima loves the energy that flows between her eye, mind and hand when she's applying her pen or brush to paper. And she's always jotting down fresh ideas. Happiness for me is ice cream on a hot day or a cold day. Happiness for me is jumping in bed with my mommy. Happiness is so many different things to different people. So I'm meeting up with illustrator and graphic designer, Fatima Kathrada, to find out what happiness is to her. There we go. Thanks so much. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Mwah. It's so good to meet you. You too. Vatima, what sparked your passion for art, graphic design, illustration and lettering? It's something I've always been interested in. It was kind of a natural thing. I just always was creatively inclined. When I was little, I would make birthday cards for people and people seemed to really enjoy it. At school, you know, when you're writing letters to friends and things, friends would ask me to write their names all fancy and that was actually kind of the beginning of hand lettering, which I didn't realize that's what it was at the time. Vatima, what mediums do you work in and what is your favorite? I really enjoy tactile mediums like paint, pencil, any kind of thing that's on paper. What do you love about handmade works? I like that you can see the humanness in it. I really value just the fact that an actual human being sat down and took the time and had the thought behind it and used their own hands to actually make that piece of work. How important is social media in your career? It's incredibly important in terms of advertising and promoting yourself. If you want to be found, if you want people to know about you, you need to be on social media. Fatima, I would love to see more of your work, not just on social media. I'd be happy to show you. Do you want to come upstairs? Yes. This is my studio. What a gorgeous space. Thanks so much. As you can see, I've got a lot of my work on the walls as well as some inspiration. Here you can see some of the wedding stationery that I've done. Features some a gold foiling print technique, which I really enjoy, as well as my watercolor illustrations. I've also got a menu for one of the weddings. They wanted a menu printed onto Perspex, which is a really nice, unusual sort of element to have, and it turned out beautifully. I've also got a lot of art prints that I've done that are for sale and editorial illustration that I've done for magazines and there's some branding work as well that I've done. On this side you can see a lot of the hand lettering work that I've done, a lot of brush lettering using watercolors and inks. One of them is an editorial piece I did for a magazine that features like wording in the shape of a dog so it kind of fits into the shape and is kind of done creatively to fit that and there's just other various art prints that were done for exhibitions and just for fun as well. Fatima, you have a gorgeous blog called Happiness Is. Yes, I do. The blog's been going since about 2009. It's taken various forms over the years. Uh, would you like to have a look at it? Yes. Sure, come around. So this is my blog. It's part of my website now, and it basically features little bits of happiness in the form of work that I've done, cool projects that I've worked on, inspiration that I find anywhere. I also feature restaurants and events that I attend, just anything that's creative and inspirational and interesting. Are these your images? Yes, they are. They are absolutely magical. You are so brilliant with watercolors. Thanks so much. Would you like to give it a try? Awesome. Let's go. Have you used watercolors before? Not since I was in preschool. So it's quite a fun medium to use and we used quite differently to the way they would have taught you to use it in preschool. So being watercolor, you need to get a lot of water in it and then it's about making it quite watery. So you can see it gets like quite transparent and it can be quite dark as well. So we play around with those elements to create something really fun and interesting. So that's it and off I go. Let's do it. Okay. What would you like to paint today? Uh, I'm going to be ambitious and say an ice cream. Something people do quite a lot is use watercolor paints like acrylic paints, like use it quite dark and thick. So you want to really bear in mind letting the water do its work and like letting it be quite flowy and loose and watery. Fatima, you do watercolor workshops? Yes, I do. I started off with brush lettering workshops doing basically lettering typography with a brush that has a kind of calligraphic style to it, but it's a bit more loose and free and fun, I think, with a brush. And I just recently did a watercolor florals workshop with some florals like this, 
just teaching basic techniques on how to do some leaves and some flowers. What advice do you have for aspiring illustrators and graphic designers out there? Practice as much as possible. You need to find your own style and experiment, be free with it, and don't try to create for everybody else. Create what comes naturally, and you'll develop a style eventually. Oh, and you made the Melo logo. That's absolutely stunning. Just a little quick version of it. And I made an ice cream. I love that. It turned out so well. Bajima, thank you so much for today. It was filled with so much beauty. It was so lovely having you. Thanks so much. And now I'm going to finish off with some sprinkles.